Sometimes you kill the enemy. Sometimes they impale you on the end of a halberd with a spike on it. While a uh, knight slashes your face in twain. That's life! We all, we've all been there. We've all, we've all been there. We, we've all super totally been I hate you. I hate you. I'm not even going to try and block at this point. Just out of my pure disdain for you. If you hit me again, you deserve it. You honestly deserve it. You earned that. He did not earn it, though. That's why he died. Whoop! And a whoop! There we go. Gonna be a little bit more careful on our attempts to get to Grey Rat this time and not just die immediately. We have failed at this attempt, at this goal. But um, our heart was in the right place. Learning by dying is Dark Souls. Very, very true. And God knows that there are a lot of deaths under my belt. Enough deaths deaths that I should probably be better than I actually am. But I'm not. I'm only as good as I have to be to accomplish my goal. That's rugged individualism. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if you want to just chill there and hold your head... No, I'm just, I'm just changing my mind. I'm going to kill you. I don't want to take a chance of going downstairs and then you decide to wake up and come throw a freaking kunai into my cerebral cortex. Like, I'd be very much not on board with that whole deal. Okay, buddy. You've made your point. You're Mr. Swingy Halberd, man. Aren't you cool? That was a mistake and I almost paid for it dearly. But all is well. Okay. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Take him out. Take the shot! Good stuff. Feels good. This is not the one I got. No, it's Grey Rat Cell. I knew that. I was just double checking because I didn't totally know that. I knew mostly that's what it was. Mostly. The first two swings, those were warning shots. You saw him. He kept coming after me. I had no choice. He kept coming. Grey Rat. No enemies here, right? Clear? Clear? Okay. Grey Rat, I got you, boy. Boop, boop, boop. I want your buckler inside mm. of my arm. No, you ain't not the You only, may. I'll be I will give you. her the ring. Totally 100% gonna do that. Yup. She's not dead or anything, so I'll be doing that thing you asked me to do just as soon as I find her. Yup. 100%. Undo 10% even. That's 10% over my original offer. That's bargaining. That's negotiations. Yeah, I felt threatened. Exactly. <laughs> and I felt my life was in danger. I had no choice but to ax him in the face twice. That's just the nature of this world we live in, man. Ah, oh, you love to see it. Stop swinging so fast. Jerk. go good 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 I'm just gonna let these dudes live their life worshiping whatever the heck they're worshiping and move on maybe one day I'll have to actually try doing a magic build in Dark Souls 3 I don't know it just never magic of magic and Dark Souls has never super appealed to me for some reason but maybe I just haven't given it up I hate you you could have not killed me you did get me stuck but you did not kill me that makes you the fool he swings so fast! I don't like it. I don't like it. Do I need anything else over the... Well, actually, I should probably put on that helm, huh? There we go. It gives me a little bit of defense. Beautiful. Do I even need anything over this way? What's What else is over here? It's just a path down, right? I think so. Let's just go. We'll just run by him and see where it leads. I think it's just a path down. I'm trying to remember. It's been it's been a while. My memory of bosses is definitely a lot more intact than my memory of individual areas, just due to the the, the nature of doing SL1 runs. The best areas I have good memory of are the areas where I uh, would have to traverse through it multiple times. Where do I go? Ah, hold on. I thought that was the exit. Wait, the exit's over there, isn't it? Well. Real. That's unfortunate. 
Um, Dark Drift, Cursed Sword, that sounds cool. Uh, let's go do something real quick here. We're gonna travel back and reinforce our Estes Flask. Actually, my first ever run in Dark Souls 1, which was the first Dark Souls game I played, I did a Pyromancy build. And it was really cool. I could see trying to do Pyromancy in this one. I went to the wrong place. But I, I do like Pyromancy. We want to go back to Firelink Shrine. There we go. That's what we're looking for. That's the good stuff. Hello. I'm sorry. I love those carvings. Very good. I think I've got one or two ah, Estes Shards here. Wasn't Reinforce my flask. Do it again. Thank Ready. you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have an idea. I've got a plan. I started a plan. Started the whole world planning. The plan is, let's reinforce our broadsword nah, some. Because that would be smart to do. Broadsword. Yes. I can't do it again. But we do now have a broadsword plus one. I'm going to I'm gonna try using it just to see if the swing speed makes it worth using as my primary. I don't know. Which covenant is it? Like, is it one that requires PvP? Because those ones are annoying for sure. What are those? What are the symbols next to this? I don't remember those little, like, three gold looking symbol thingies next to... Next to the uh, warp in points. That's kind of bizarre. And have I played this game before? Where am I? Where's my grandson? Ah, Mound Makers. I do recall that one. That's the ones where they can they they summon in as purple phantoms, correct? If I recall correctly. Locked it, sucker. There you go. Yeah. I don't even know quite how to... Like, the fact that you can summon a Mound Maker in and they won't 100% be friendly like you could fight them. Wow, this is actually a lot better already than the other thing I was using, isn't it? I think just a one-handed damage is keeping up with what the Deep Axe was doing there. Broadsword is good. Broadsword is just, like, definitively good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that dude still swings faster than me, which I find to be unfair and also cheating. Oh, hello, second person. Where'd you come from? I have your shield and helmet. Don't you feel silly? Yeah, I'm not sure about it. Like, I've actually summoned in them a few times, and you're like, are we working together? Are we going to fight? Like, I don't know. It's very strange. It's a weird covenant. I don't fully understand. I don't claim to be the smartest man. I just claim to be a very confused one. And really, isn't that all any of us really want in this world. Isn't that what this life is all about? Being confused? I've missed you, Broadsword. I forgot how good you were. Yes. Yes. Burn. Bleed for me. I fear no man. Ow. I'm like uh, the Witch King of Isolith. I fear no man. No man born of woman may kill me. Oh, you no man. Oh, crap. That's just semantics. You can't do that. I can, and I did. Dang it. And that's our summary of Lord of the Rings. That's exactly how episode uh, three goes down. He's like, no, you're a girl or whatever. Uh, and he's, she's like, yeah, because girls are cool or whatever. And he's like, dang, I guess so. Now I have to acknowledge you. Uh... You stabbed me in the face, and I'm turning into smoke for some reason. Ah. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty much, like, the greatest narrator of Cliff Notes ever, and you're probably wondering, like, where can I hire this guy for his incredible narration? Uh, I don't have a business card yet. I, I will work on getting one to you. Believe it or not, I have not actually been hired before. I know, very bizarre. But, uh, yeah, so I, I haven't actually made the business account yet. Anywho, uh, ow, Fiverr, there we go. Fiverr goes Follow west, what, to live. hey lifeless shell, thanks very much for the follow my friend, welcome to the ranger station, um, 
I don't remember exactly where this goes. This is why I want to succeed at, at killing everything here. I figured it out. Yeah, Fiverr Goes West. Great movie. You know, I think there were other Fiverr movies, too. I just don't remember the, the name of them. Fi Was the first one just Fiverr? And, like, the American Dream or something? I don't know. I, I can't remember. It's been so long. Um... All right, what do we have down here? Right, so K9 unit. Ah, there's the exit. Of course, of course. It all makes sense now. Where did that second... Oh, he was down the stairs. Dang, K9 units and their trickiness. Be, el be eliminated. Thank you. You're dead. You are mine. I can parry this guy. I ain't parrying that. Oh, no, uh-uh. That was a nonsense attack. You, you cool over there? Yeah, they're cool over there still. Kill him. Kill him. Thank you. Very good. American tail? Ah, American tail. That's right. Because he has a tail because he's a mouse. Oh. Will the funny never end? Um, Is that bloodstain worth it? God, no. In what world would I ever think that would be worth it? We're not doing that. Oh, right. Our uh, halberd knight here. Wing knight, I believe his name is, if I recall. This is going to be fun. Oh boy. I will kill him. Just because. He fell. That's funny. Maybe I can get him into the fire. Yeah, five will go west. I was I was just kidding. I'm not sure why you said five. five. Whoa, calm down, doggy. Sorry for the dog barking there. I'm not sure what she's barking at. I do not see anything. Akiko, no. No, sweetie. No, there's nothing there. You're incorrect. There is no alien invasion going on currently. Right. I forgot he could shoot down beams of light from heaven to murder me. One would think you don't forget something like that. I had actually forgotten it. Good range. I will give him the credit there. That was a good range. Oh, being hired, I see. Akiko, no. Sorry about that. She's got little... A little bit of guard dog in her breed, so she sometimes decides that she's got to go defend the defend the homestead from the invisible monsters outside the door that are definitely totally there. But don't tell her that. That'll ruin her little dreams. Her little defense dreams. And just careful little key up. Good stuff. Dame. Oh, I thought it said our porn poodle. I was like, what the heck is a porn poodle? A palm poodle barks at everything enemy outside. There's a lot of there's a lot of invisible enemies that our 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 goggy's gotta keep us safe from, man. That's just part of this uh turbulent time that we live in. Okay, I made a couple of errors there, I will not lie. But victory still is mine. Wee! There we go. Feels good on the feels good on the palms. Helps keep the hand nice and warm. Nice, warm, and raw. Could this be poison gas? Is he is this a joke about the man's farts? You good sir, because of making a fart joke, get a, a good rating. What greater form of comedy exists in the Western world than fart jokes? Or really all bathroom humor in general. I don't discriminate. <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> I think I'm turning Japanese. I really think so. Also, that's got more range than you'd expect. How did you not hit me? Well, now you had me there. Maybe we should not worry about killing this guy. Perhaps we should just go around him. Get some items and go around that gentleman who seems rather rather hostile to our existence, shall we say. Down here. We need to get to Vort. We need to start making some forward progress. I have the itch to fight a boss. Did he actually hurt me by doing that? Your iframes are too many iframes when you're on that ladder, sir. I don't get those iframes, do I? I don't think I do. Lame. Very lame. So Bob Home, how goes the keyboard effort? Have you have you successfully finished the keyboard situation? 
Have you printed it out and connected it to your circuit board? Kill you, kill you, get hit by you. All according to plan. Extremely according to plan. Don't even worry about it. The plan was extremely according. I'm just gonna kinda, I forgot I gotta slip over here and grab this. Like fire bombs. Rage quit to Vort? Oh, that's... You know, what I don't understand about that is if you're at Vort, that means you already beat a way more annoying first-time boss that kills people, which is Gundir. How are you going to rage quit at Vort, but you got past Gundir? That's very strange to me. Uh-oh. Well, sounds like it's time to go back to the old drawing board. I'm sure you'll be able to get it, though. Some cool stuff, man. Programming circuit boards and whatnot. Not the type of engineering I think of. When I think of engineering, I guess I think more of, like, physical engineering. I don't think of, like, the fact that electronic engineering is a thing, too. So, that's just that's just part of my small brain, though. A little different. Zhoop. And a little zhoop. We're just going to kind of streamline our way here now. Unless we can get a great hit off here. Ha! I mean, we got a great hit off here. We're going to try and kill him since we got such a good start. Oh, my God, my health. Can you parry this guy? Probably, huh? We're just going to take the nice, easy one hit at a time. That hurt. I will not lie to you. I was just pleased by that strike. Stop shooting down beams of light from heaven. It's not fair. Oh, my God. You missed. I backstabbed him? I didn't know you could backstab this dude. I love it. Huh. We got him. Rage quitting at Asylum Demon. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe Vort is more like Rage quitting at... No. Capra is still harder than Vort. If I'm thinking about Dark Souls 1. Like, I can understand people getting ragey at, at Capra Demon, but not Vort. Vort's is... Vort's a good boy. He's a doggy. He's an ice dog. He's a friendo. What fired a thing at me there? That was very odd. No! You do not get any of this. This is off the menu for you, good sir. Good luck. Why, thank you. Will the Z Warriors... Uh, excuse me, armor. Man, imagine if all those dudes were actually still alive and you had to fight them all. That would be a tough one. Instead of just the one wing knight. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Yeah, at this point, Broadsword's doing a lot of work for me compared to the, the axe, just because I can swing it so quickly. It's not nearly as good as the, as the axe, but uh, I still prefer it. Uh-oh. You know what? Farewell! Goodbye! I shall return one day. Yeah, Vort's just a good boy trying to do good boy things, and then people get mad at him. And it's like, I mean, we've gotta we've gotta punish him, but we're not gonna we're not gonna get mad at him for it. Vort is as Vort does. That's just the life. That's just the life. There we go. Blame the pontiff. Yeah, right? If anyone's to blame, it's stupid Pontiff Sullivan. Also, that's an annoying boss fight. I'm not looking forward to that one. Although, with parrying, it's probably not going to be too terrible for me, I hope. I hope. Extremely hope, at least. <laughs> we shall see when the time comes. Man, it feels so good to be back in Dark Souls. I have missed you, Dark Souls. Kiss me on the lips, and let's make it weird. Are there zombies? Huh, I guess they all fell in the hole or something. I'll take it. Mm, is there a thing right up here I can get? Yeah, yeah, yeah. thought so. I remembered. And a little key! Aha! Oh! An item. Actually, a decent item, too. I was, I was thinking it would be something I'd never use, but that could actually get used. I could see a world in which we use that. I can see a world in which that is a useful item. Oh, right. Um, um, let's top up. I'm going to try and actually f 
fight my way through here because I want to fight the blue one, the, the red-eyed guy. If we can fight the red-eyed guy, that would allow me to get the, uh, is it the blue tear stone ring over there? Some, no, the red tear stone ring? Some, red, some ring that's going to be useful. Never mind. Mistakes have been made. We're just going to sprint through and hope for the best. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh. We can always come back here when we're a little bit stronger to uh, refight these jabronis. Right. This is no longer our fastest pathway. We shall quick travel to the high wall of Lothric. Yes, yes. I think I am one one titanite shard one titanite shard short of upgrading our sword again. That is highly on my list of things I wish to be doing. I will not lie to you, it is up there, as far as the list goes. Also, just a quick reminder, anybody in chat who's interested in more content that I create, I have just recently started up a YouTube channel, so if you're at all interested in seeing me play through other games, currently I'm doing a run-through of Dead Cells, um, feel free to check out my YouTube. Type in exclamation point YouTube, it'll come up with a link, so you can uh, go watch there. Just a little bit of self, a little bit of um, extremely self-aware self-promotion. Like I know, I know it's it's, it's cheesoid, but hey. But hey, I mean, I don't. There's nothing following the but hey to justify it. I'm just throwing that out there. Just throwing that out there. Just saying hey. Just like a three non-blonde song. We go hey yeah yeah yeah. Hey, um, sir, I need to take that elevator down. If you'd be so kind as to. Not be standing on it. Get out of here. Oh, he did not get out of here. He is extremely not out of here. Well, goodbye. That could have gone better, admittedly. But at least we didn't die. Yay. At least we didn't die. All right, let's go up here and unlock the fight with Vort. Prepare to get going on that here pretty soon. Make some forward progress. And then it's actually going to be a little while before we see a boss after we get to Vort. Sadly enough. Alright, sprint. Hope for the best. And roll! And roll! And roll! You cannot capture the mad somersaulting man. Well, a woman in this case, because we're playing as a female character for the first time on a soul level 1. Exciting! Wow, look at that. 6,637 appraisals. Crazy. Probably not from hacks. Nope. <sighs> Hello, yes, do the thing. Banner, please. Yes, Thank you. Insignia, yes, way of blue. Um, Bye. Yep, I'll do that. Ugh, seems good. Um, do we actually fight this gentleman? I think we do. It's got he's got a good ring. We'll stealth him. We'll stealth stabby stab him in the back, see how it goes. Hopefully he doesn't notice us approaching. We got some camo on, threw some mud on us, basically created our own ghillie suit. I mean, that's damage. It's a very little bit of damage, but it's damage. Oh, I don't like the looks of that. I probably should have gotten in there and attacked him instead of letting him buff his sword, huh? For being totally honest. Yes. Yes, you should have gotten in there and not let him buff his sword. You're correct. Well, thank you, hindsight. I needed that. Thank you for just making me question myself and hurting my feelings again, hindsight. Nobody asked for your opinion. Leave Ranger alone. Anyway, um, ten year, ten year plus old YouTube references aside, thank you, sir, for cleaving my thorax in twain. I felt it was a little bit too connected at the time. The way I look at it, I've only got one backbone right now, and if you cut it in half. Now I've got two backbones. That's twice the backbones for the same price. So really, who's the doofus now, huh? You're the one helping me. Out. It's, it was him. He, he was he was the doofus. Is the point? I'm trying to twist this so that I don't I don't feel so bad about dying. Oh, oh well. Three backs for the price of one, you say? Well, now, what, a, what what have I done to deserve this honor? All right, if he gets me one more time here, 
you have my permission to be thoroughly displeased with my level of play. I will I will grant that to you. You're welcome. All right, now that we've gotten him, I tried to roll and I I like stubbed my toe. Did you see that? I was in the middle of my roll and then I just stopped. I'm like, oh my toe or whatever, dude. Hello, sir. Would you mind leaving? Oh, that's fine. I can be the one to get off the elevator first. I was just trying to be polite and let you get off first. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't hit me. Well, now that we've used up half of our healing, just try to take a little off the top. Just a little. Just a lower the ears a little bit. And they, uh, ended up cleaving my spine in half. But you know, I mean, no one's perfect. I'm certainly not going to get mad. No one's perfect. Everyone has their moments where, a little senior moment perhaps. Where you think you're giving someone a haircut and you're actually splitting their spine in, in two. It happens. That's life. I'm not going to complain about it. I mean, I suppose the fact that I'm talking about it now at least suggests that I am complaining about it. And I am complaining about it a little bit. But, you know. I mean, in fairness, that was super not cool of him. You know, what are you going to do, nerds? You can't get me. Ah! What if I could kill him like this? Oh, you missed. Could you go away, though? I, I kind of want to fight Blue Eyes White Dragon over there. I guess Red Eyes White Dragon. Red Eyes Black Dragon. There you go. See? I'm up on my Yu-Gi-Oh! references. I know my Yu-Gi-Ohs. I remember Joey Wheeler's 2400 attack power Red Eyes Black Dragon from Season 1 of Yu-Gi-Oh! The Animated Series. Series. The Animated Series is actually the spinoff that involves only um, male cows known as bulls. That is the Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged Series. Look, I know it's gold. The guy, you're like, how does this guy come up with such fresh material? Steeries, that's just a great pun. Well, I'd like to thank my my um, my publicist. Does not exist. I would like to thank. I would like to thank Red Eyes here for inspiring me for that funny, funny, funny bit. Ha ha ha! So fun. Okay, we're gonna leave that guy alone for now. He has he has made his point that he's superior to me. And killed me. I'm sure, given enough tries, I could kill him. But right now, I'm more interested in going after good old uh, Vordio. My favorite Phil Collins song. Vort, Vort, Vordio. Oh, 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 oh. Don't, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Ha ha! Now it is you who is the silly man, and I who am the victor. Don't you drop on me. He dropped on me! Get off! He's still got lots of health. I just like this. Just keep swinging and hope for the best. All right, that could have gone worse. And we can pillage his corpse for a great axe that we'll never use. Sick. I don't know that I've ever actually had that guy drop a great axe. I don't think I've ever seen that. That's awesome. That was a weird, like, smoky haze in the air there. Just like another one of my favorite Phil Collins songs. I can see it smoking in the air tonight. Oh, I'm dead. Um, the funny part of that is I actually don't like Phil Collins. Anyway, that aside, I, mean, I think there's an item up there I missed, but I kind of want to get into the fight. Let's try out Vort. Let's see how it goes with Vort. But that starts Bulls. Boogio. <laughs> Boogio! It's a door. Try to stay calm. I'll do what I can. I'm going to watch a cutscene because it's been like years since I've seen it. God, what sexy back hair. Can you imagine how soft the fuzz of the nape of her neck must be to rub your cheek on? It's simply glorious. As a more beautiful sex symbol ever existed in our society. If my nose could just rub the curly hair of the nape of her neck, I would be complete as a man. Alright, but now we fight Vort. We'll see how the bronze sword does. We might try the deep axe if this does not go great. There's always resin, I suppose, if I have to. I absolutely have to. Ah, that's decent damage. As long as we stay in his undercarriage here and try and slice his grundle in two, then I think we should be alright. Yeah, that's some real damage. Better stand back. more. Yep. And now you breathe your frost. I 
stupid stuff. Ow! Fine. Ow! Oh, we're so close. Hey, thank you, Annan, for gifting Lifeless Shell Zero a Subarino. Welcome to the Kennel Club, Lifeless Shell. Pleasure to have you here. Pleasure to have you enshrined in the all time memory of this great channel. We almost had Vort on our first try. I am pleased by that. We took Gundy on our first try. Vort almost on our first try. We had him like one or two swing sh Oh. Well. You hit to see it. You hit to see it. Forgot to send the elevator back up. That's going to make this substantially more difficult going forward. But hey. That's just a theory. A soul's theory. Better be careful before I get copyright struck. Matt Pat, you shall not have me, sir. You shall not have me, good sir. Just take your time. There we go. Lovely. Lovely indeed. All right, we're going down, down, in an elevator round. Got Sugar Boy. We got uh, Soul Level 1 going down swinging. Be your number one frostbitten. Loaded broadsword complex. Swing it and hopefully not die. Yeah. Good good lyrics. Clever. Very clever stuff off the top of the head. Woo. Genius. Um, I think we can get this guy in this try. If we don't get Vort this time, it's just bad luck. It should not be too bad. Let's do it, Vort. Show me your true power. No, 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 no. Stop that. Bad Vort. Bad Vort. Stand still and just let me kill you without you retaliating, please. Atta boy. Vort is so easy if you just stand with your face in his taint. It's kind of remarkable. Okay. Woo! One more. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Right in the calf. Vort, Vort's greatest weak point. His calf. We're going to give him the Charlie horse of his life. Ow. Okay, okay. Fine. Also fine. Also fine. Uh-oh. No! <laughs> Oh no. So close. Ugh. God, if we could have just sneezed on him a little harder at the very end there, he would have died. Oh well. The only true priority out of a boss is Gundir later down the line. That is an awesome fight too. When you like re up against Gundir. That is an amazing fight. That's a fun one. That's a very I like fights that are very parry heavy. So you can really show off like your your timing and speed. Hopefully, assuming it goes well. Like I love those sort of fights. You stay up there. You don't need to come down. No one wants you here. Oh, he died. He died from the fall. I like that. Yeah, I got smushed underneath his colossal pecs. Do dogs have pecs? Does Vort have pecs? You know, I'm just gonna assume he does. I'm just gonna go with probably. What self-respecting Boreal Valley creature does not have pecs, if we're being honest here? Excuse me, Mr. Pokey Spearman. I need to come through. Hey, appreciate that, Mr. Clean. Welcome to the stream, man. Appreciate you dropping by. Hope everything's going well for you today. Okay. Vort will fall shortly. I guarantee it. Much like the fact that you'll like the way you look after shopping at Men's Warehouse. Uh, this is dream not sponsored by Men's Warehouse. I guarantee it. Ford will die this this time around. And a little bit of... That was different. That was done differently than usual, Vort. 
Lord, what the heck was that, man? You can't change up your pattern. Like, I don't appreciate it at all. You can't be doing that. I'm coming down here. Still, I'm going to beat you one try. I made a guarantee to the people, and then you go and do something like that. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Glad you're doing good. Vort was normal at one point. So he might have done some weightlifting. I mean, his gains show. Let's be totally honest. I do need to learn the lore of Dark Souls 3 better. Dark Souls 1, I know the lore. Pretty inside and out. Dark Souls 2 doesn't exist in my brain. So Dark Souls 3, though, I do need to learn the lore better. I also want to learn the lore of Sekiro better than I've played through that. Sekiro was amazing. Uh, hello. Go away. Sekiro was a lot of fun. Difficult, but very fun. Hopefully, the timing that I learned there oh, benefits me in my Dark Souls play. My reaction time should be increased. My speed, not unlike that of Sonic the Hedgehog, who is the fastest thing alive. Okay, a little down here, a little down here. One of the first games I ever played back when I was but a wee sprat, probably sub 10 years old, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, because my friend had a Sega Genesis, and it was baller. Uh, I eventually beat it as a kid, but it took quite a while, man. Back then, when you had to, like, earn continues, you could get to the final area or something like that. You know, get way into it. And if you died and you were out of continues, it's just, well, thanks for playing. Back to Emerald Hill Zone for you, nerd. Like, games used to be a lot more harsh in their punishments for if you died than they are nowadays. Being out of continues was like a death sentence as a kid. And then they didn't have, like that game at least, didn't have a, um, didn't have a save state of any sort or codes for passwords for levels. So once you died, if you, or if you were like, you know, your mom finally came to pick you up and it was time for you to go and you weren't done. There's no going back, man. Some games did have password systems, admittedly, and they were ahead of their time because as a kid, I will not tell you the number of times that I should have been able to beat Sonic 2, but I was at Hilltop Zone because it was always freaking Hilltop Zone I'd get to, and it was time to go home, and I never got to beat it, and it sucked, and it made me sad. Anyway, Bort's dead. Yay! Yay! Light the bonfire. All Sonic the Hedgehog 2 rants aside, I will say it was a great game, and I spent many, many, many moons playing it back in the day. Good times. Good times. Are there any items back up there I really care about? Eh, not at the moment. We're going to go this way. Good fight. Good old fight. -o. Do, 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 do. Raise your flag. Da, 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 da. I don't remember how the song goes. It's from Gundam. Gundam, um, Iron Blooded Orphans. I prefer the ending song anyway, where it's like. Oh, do fans, Nami da. Uh, I don't remember how it goes after that. It's been a long time since I've watched Iron Blooded Orphans. But God, that ending song is so good. It's like bluesy. You're on my mind. Anyway, I'll stop singing because I, I don't want to keep hurting you. I don't want to keep hurting you beautiful people or spending your lovely evening with me. We're having our hands taken by a couple of demon creatures. Gonna go over here. Sit down. Bye. This is the most useless bonfire. I mean, I guess you can die, like, down in here before you get to the next one, but they're so close, man. Oh, man. Iron Blood Orphans is really good. Like, I highly recommend it. Do you like Gundam? Gundam, like, I don't watch a lot of anime, to be honest. And I know everyone probably says that because they want to seem cool or whatever, and anime is kind of maligned. But I don't actually watch that much anime. But one that I do watch, and I've watched tons of, is the different series of uh, Gundam. I love Mobile Suit Gundam. Like, the first one, of course, that came out over here in the States was, um, the first one that was readily accessible, was Gundam Wing. And that's one of my least favorite, actually. I don't really care for Gundam Wing. I like the UC timeline. But yeah, if you're a, if you're a Gundam fan, like, um, you, are, you are among good company here. I'll tell you that right now. G Gundam and Wing Gundam. G Gundam also was one that I had a hard time getting into. Very unique concept. It was very interesting. It wasn't bad. 
but it was different. Like the main timeline ones, as opposed to the kind of spin-off timelines, like G Gundam and Wing Gundam and Gundam Double O. If you see Gundam Double O, Iron Blooded Orphans even is not the main timeline. Like the main timeline ones to me are my favorite. Like original Gundam, which came out in 1979. My gosh, in a long time. Those are my favorite. But Iron Blood Orphans, highly recommend. Master Asia. Oh, what was he? The the, the Fist of the East. And he's got the the mobile horse, the mobile suit horse that he rides on. It's so absurd. Master Asia is cool. I remember as a kid, I watched that scene where he's teaching Domon how to like not feel pain. And he reaches into the campfire and grabs out the food, and then Domo tries and burns his hand. And I didn't ever do it, but I would always be sitting around a campfire as a kid, looking at him like, I wonder if I could grab that like Master Asia did, or if I'm going to severely maim myself. Figured it'd be the latter option, so I never actually did it, but Lord knows it was on my mind. Gundam Unicorn, also another really great series. The music in, in Iron-Blooded Orphans and Gundam Unicorn are it's phenomenal. The, uh, the music in something like Gundam Double O, hit and miss in my opinion. It has its moments, but it's not really for me. It's good stuff. Undefeated of the East, yes. And his horse was also <laughs> the mobile suit. It's so good. That and, um, I remember, uh, this fist of mine burns with a burning red. His loud roar tells me to defeat you. Like, the just, just the over-the-top lines that they had in it were so good. So absurd. This hand of mine is burning red. Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Stop oh, complaining. Oh, I oh, I That's cool. Ah. You have been rescued, friendo. You're on my mind. Homer bone. There we go. Welcome back, Zima. The rejoicing has begunneth. We were just talking about Mobile Suit Gundam. Are you at all familiar with the anime known as Gundam? It is my favorite anime series ever. Played tons of the games. I made my own tabletop card game like that I devised based on Gundam. Like, I'm kind of a Gundam fanatic. I have loved Gundam for many, many years. Passing knowledge but never watched. Oh, oh, oh my friend. Are you missing out? But I'm not going to go tell you to watch it. Because I know that's the thing. Ever, like, when you love a series... Or, like, when people love series, whether it be anime or a particular television show, like, I've never seen Breaking Bad. I've had so many people be like, you have to watch. No, like, when I say you have to, I mean, literally, I will hunt you down and find you if you do not watch it. Like, I don't want to be one of those people who's a little over the top about their, uh... Oh, <gasps> yes! Yes! I'm beautiful! I don't want to be one of those people who's over the top about the series and be like, you have to watch it or I'll murder your whole family. Like, there are people who are like that. Let's be real. That's not me. But I would highly recommend it if you're interested in, like... Like, I want to watch something a little bit different. Like an anime, maybe. Gundam could be the one for you. Oh, yeah. The Dynasty Warrior Gundam game. I do remember that. Gundam Musou, I think it was. That one, I wasn't a huge fan of. It was interesting, though. Very fast-paced. Very fun. One of my favorites, actually, is a... Um, one of my favorite Gundam games is a... Originally, I think it came out on the Sega Saturn, but then it was re-released for the for the uh, PSP called um, Giren's Greed. It should be Giren's Ambition. It's Giren no Yabo, and Yabo translates to Ambition, not Greed. But it's called Giren's Greed. Access no QE. Uh, I don't remember exactly. Anyway, Access no QE V, and it's, it's really good. It's like a turn-based strategy game that lets you go through all of the different series. And the timelines. God, it's so fun. It's a great game. Yeah, <laughs> you can't kick someone in the eye. That is that is a famous line. I love that one. Oh, hey, that's convenient then. I feel like that's more important than it would have been in the past that people with their significant others have at least somewhat matching opinions on what to watch because with the prevalence of um, streaming services nowadays, man, if you can't cut, like, match your compatibility in that way, that's going to be a tough road. It's going to be a tough road to walk. I would even say it could lead you, as everyone's favorite band says, down that lonely street on the boulevard of broken dreams. Where my shadow sleeps, I'm the only one I love to run. Not a fan of Green Day. I'm mocking it slightly. 
However, that song actually kind of bangs, so I can't mock it too heavily. We also have enough now that we could upgrade. You're a problem child, aren't you, sir? We could upgrade our broadsword again. There we go. Breaking Bad. I've got to watch Breaking Bad. I have never seen it. <laughs> oh, that's adorable, Zima. That's that's a good way to try and do things. Long distance relationships. I've had I've had enough of that in my life. I know the feeling, man. It's rough. So doing stuff like that, keep things together. That that's a that's a really wonderful way to handle it. I respect that a lot. Helps the days pass. Yep, yep, yep. Sometimes that's what you got to do. Just got to let each day go, come and go. Just got to one foot in front of the other. Ippo, ippo, as the Japanese say. One step, one step at a time. I need you to break. There we go. Loretta's bone and uh, and do your best. I got to remember how to actually parry with this particular <laughs> buckler. I've forgotten how bucklers parry, the timing. I got to remember how to get it. I used to hate it, and then I learned to love it, but now I don't remember how I do it. Four-hour drive, not too bad. My, uh, my, like, that's, that's, that's far but reasonable, at least to be able to see each other. My, my long-distance relationship, my, my long, the one that lasted the longest and took the most amount of effort, it was a, uh, nine-hour plane flight to see each other. So it was a rough one. <laughs> It was not the easiest time. Visas involved and plane tickets and just not a good time for trying to um, remain like close to somebody. Not the easiest. An ember. Ouch. It's fine. I just want to make sure I didn't miss an item. Is there something back up in here? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was harsh. Yes. That relationship lasted close to five years. Not all of it long distance, but a lot of it. So I believe me when I say that I, I commiserate with you. And also, um, I understand at least somewhat of the difficulties of what, what it takes to continue, um, continue continuing on in certain circumstances. And that's why doing stuff like that, like being able to be in a chat together while watching a show at the same time, things like that are, are really important, I think. Like, to me... That's something that I didn't have an option to have back in the in the days when uh, like I didn't have that option back then. I think it would have been very nice to be able to have. But, uh, you know, sometimes things just don't work out, so such is life. Yeah, that's really good. That's really good. Very good, though. Oh, haha, he didn't like me rolling into him, you nerd. You nerd, you're a big nerd is what you are, nerd. Okay, that's the the insult loses efficacy when you repeat it three times in a row. I will remember that for future reference. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ooh, another Titanite shard. Yeah, we need to upgrade our broadsword. Next time we hit a bonfire, we're gonna be warping back to uh Firelink Shrine and have an Andre upgrade for us. Oh right, I gotta remember that these things are a thing that exists. Don't like it. Stop it. Stop it! There we go. I don't remember ever coming in this door before. I'm not sure I've ever taken this path to get in here. Where the heck am I? What is this? Oh, oh! I know where we are. I'm going to become part of my favorite covenant in the entire game. Is this not? Yes, Warriors of Sunlight. Give me some Estes soup, Solaire. Try soup fatty. Hey, man, soup, depending on what it's made out of, can be a very healthy food. We are warriors of sunlight. The sun bros, exactly. Yeah, undead settlement can get a little bit confusing to run around. There is no denying that fact. Hello? That box looks extremely like something would pop out of it if you hit it. Uh, it turns out, no. kill you oh this guy that's right this guy's kind of a toughie isn't he and also there's those stupid 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 heads that'll that'll drop down on me if I move forward there 
I'll oh, just, just kind of, thank you. Grab that. Good stuff. All right. Um, we are not going to continue down that path. That, that way is a, a way of danger. If we come around this way, we can eliminate those dudes at that top sneaky area and then have a safer fight against our friend with the glowing red evil eyes. Oh, that was a big miss. That was a, wow. What a whiff. Oh, I need to remove the first playthrough tag off of this stream. This is not a first playthrough. I'm a big fat liar, man. I just looked over and seen that I have that. And I was like, no, it's not. Hopefully I shan't get in trouble. Excuse me, sir. Pardon me as I come through here. I'm just going to chop your face off. <laughs> okay. Uh, call me in the morning if it still hurts. Mm, come down here. Boop, boop, boop. A little bit of shortcutting. Little shortcut, and we are back to where we was. It's only slow the first time through when you're actually killing stuff and collecting items. After that, it gets a lot faster to kind of maneuver your way around. We were almost to a bonfire, too, when I died there. It's really unfortunate that these suckers almost did the exact same thing to me again. I hate you. Well, he's down below now. Nothing out of place in the game. Guides out of Lucille Dungeon with a plank of wood. Guy outside with a plank of wood. Are you talking about the guy who had like the weird mask and looks like he was out of Bloodborne almost? Because yeah, that dude was weird and he like ends up being hostile and tries to invade you. That guy was definitely weird. Yeah, Dark Souls 3... As far as, like, Lovecraftian horror goes, and I'm a huge fan of Lovecraft. Like, believe me, I, I am... I was I was a fan of Lovecraft before it became popular to call everything a, um... A cosmic horror or eldritch-type en enemy. Like, I like that stuff for a long time. And uh, Dark Souls 3 doesn't have a ton of, like, um, weird fiction-y Lovecraftian... It does have some, but it's not as much. It's more fantasy. Bloodborne now, that is like a pure Lovecraft fever dream, man. That thing's amazing. Dark Souls 2's had a bunch. Dark Souls 2 had its moments, yes. You yeah, with the lance who seemed friendly, but then betrayed you. It's like, hello, my name is something, and I have a ring in there, or whatever. That dude was... He was like Patches 2.0. He's a weirdo. There we go. Gotta be careful. We got, yep, the, not the bees! Not the bees! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, basically these days, anything that's, or even just like horror, like straight up horror is Lovecraftian now. It's like, come on. Have some respect for the art. away from that like as somebody who's currently in the process of writing a weird fiction novel a Lovecraftian novel if you will like not everything is love is, is Lovecraftian or eldritch horror it's a very specific type of thing there we go whoa she, she move canceled man she move canceled on me you can't just move cancel on me she move cancel. This isn't a fighting game. That ain't cool, man. Well. Also, can I get some more armor at some point, please? Can someone drop, like, I don't know, a chest piece or some pants? A little extra defense would be out. Quite nice. She made it to a fighting game. You know, I'm surprised there hasn't been any sort of fighting game that involves Souls characters. I could see a fighting game featuring Souls characters. Actually being kind of good. Kind of like the one that they did for um, uh, Final Fantasy. I don't remember the name of it. I've never actually played it, but it actually looked kind of interesting. I could see something like that with Dark Souls. It could be kind of cool. Right next to the bonfire. Oh, I had to itch my nose and the guy cleaved me. He cleavered Dissidia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Dissidia good? 
The only one I, okay, let me rephrase that. In Dissidia is Squall good. Because as a Final Fantasy VIII diehard fan, that Final Fantasy VIII being by far my favorite Final Fantasy, is Squall good? That's what I care about most. Does he use Lionheart or just the default Gunblade? Like, these are the questions that matter. People created Solaire in Soul Calibur 6. Oh, that's right, because there's tons of character customization in that, isn't there? That's actually really cool. I like that. I respect that. If we're going to create somebody, man, Solaire is a great choice. Solaire, and I wouldn't mind um, Kirk. Good old Kirk with a spiky spike armor. Hoop. That wouldn't mind Quaylag. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, just a basic gunblade? What the heck? But probably you had to pay money to unlock the DLC version where he's got the full Lionheart. Lionheart is a good looking sword, man. As far as ultimate weapons go in Final Fantasy games, like, I think Lionheart's got to be up there. It's simple, and yet it's awesome looking. Actually, if you... Uh -oh. If you go into um, Steam... This is weird. I don't know if this is self-promotion or something. If it's inappropriate for me to say. But if you go into Steam and you go to Steam Guides for Final Fantasy VIII, not the remaster, but the original, there's actually a guide called um, How to Get Soul Level 1 Lion... Or not Soul Level... Oh, my God. How to Get Lionheart um, before the end of Disc 1. And I, have a, I wrote a guide on Steam for how to do that. And it's kind of like a silly one. Like, I make a joke about using Lionheart on a bite bug. So if you went into Steam Guides... There was one day where I was just in a weird place, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to write an entire guide on how to get Lionheart by the end of Disc 1 in Final Fantasy VIII. And I did, and there were actually some positive responses on it. It wasn't completely ignored. I wasn't like a super famous one or well-known, but it actually got some attention of people leaving comments like, this was really helpful. Thank you. And I was like, you know what? That's really cool. Hey, chat core. We are indeed back to good old Dark Souls. And God, I love it. Feels good, man. How are you doing? Kingdom Hearts, lads. So Squall will always be Leon to me. I don't like Kingdom Hearts. And before you come find my... You, you DDoS me so you can set my house on fire for saying that. I could never get into it. And there's one particular reason. I don't like Disney characters. Like, running around with Donald and Goofy all the time. It's like, ugh... Little Mermaid needs you to help save the- Ugh. I just couldn't be bothered. The only thing I did is I tried to make the little gummy ship that you make, I tried to make it look like the Millennium Falcon. I was ahead of my time, see? I knew that uh, Disney would be a <laughs> buyout Star Wars. I was already making the Millennium Falcon. I just could not get into- 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 um, What should I call it there? Unfortunately. Hey, Shades. Hope she's doing well. No worries at all, my friend. We beat Vort. Took three, no, four tries, four tries, including one time where he had basically no health left in his health bar, but still somehow, um, hang on, my phone suddenly started talking. Why are you talking to me, phone? I think I must have activated Siri somehow, accidentally, but anyway, yes, um, what was I saying? I remember what I was saying, but I, I could not get into Kingdom Hearts, could not do it. I can understand that for sure, yeah. If it's like childhood memory type stuff, very nostalgic to you. I feel you, I feel you. Hey, right, thank you. I appreciate that, Chase. She's awakening. Kill it! Kill it with fire! Kill it with firewalls! Kill him. Watch out for the bees! Not the bees! Not the bees! We're gonna heal up too because we're so close to the bonfire. I do not want to die. Alright, let's go. I hate you. You will not get me, sir. Did I already get the item in here? Oh, I did get the item in here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> no. Oy vey. How have you been doing, chat cord? It's good to see you again. Ah, tasty. Hammer bro. Hammer bro... From Mario to Souls games, Hammer Bro is always going to be a toughie. He does so much poise damage and so much just physical damage. Cracks through my shield.
Uh, Shades. That, do you have to pay for, like, extra email storage? Because that's an insane amount of emails. That's ridiculous. That sucks, man. Good God. Well. Not much you can do about it now, I guess, but, ugh. You know what? We're just booking it. We're booking it. Hope for the best and book it. Book it, Dano! Oh, no. Just top up, top up. I just want to get through this annoying area. Through the annoying area. Rolling, rolling. Through the... Ow! It's fine. Got the bees! Hammer guy! We're fine. Good, good, good. Drop down. Key up! Is there an item here? No, oh, you've lied to me. That's not an illusory wall. Curse you. Oh. I gotta do this. It's worth it. Just kill it. Yes. No, you don't, sir. You don't. We got the sh sharp gem. No, you! Uh, no, maybe now's a good time to take a vacation.